In this video, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over with an everyday carry, or as all the cool kids like to say, an EDC. This is the Gerber Suspension Next NXT 15-in-1 multi-tool, which is absolutely amazing in, a, in such an affordable package when you look at this. Belt clip built in, which I really like that belt clip. I'm not a fan of the pouches on the side of the belts and all that. This is all made out of stainless steel, so it's not gonna rust on you. I do keep mine oiled up. This this one is about a year old. I've been really impressed with how well this thing's held up. The overall weight of this thing, it feels a little heavy. It's almost like a fist load. It's 6.7 ounces. Length when it's in its closed state right here is four and a quarter. And then when you open it, it's six and a quarter. So you can see it's a spring loaded on it. These are needle nose at the tip and these are standard pliers in the middle with a cutter. So there's three tools just in the ends right here. They feel very solid. I've cut a lot of stuff with these and you can see my blade is in still a really good shape. But I'll test it out here in a minute on some coat hangers and some random wires and let you guys see how well this thing cuts. So those are the pliers. Let's get into the tools. Here. On the right hand side, by the way, you do have these nice little curled plastic edges there. You can run a lanyard right there if you ever need to work with it and have a lanyard on. Me personally, I don't think I need that. It does have a really cool locking mechanism. Pull down and close it up. The tools, number one, you've got a Phillips head screwdriver, or what they're calling a crossway. And then inside of here, you've got an awl. And then also in here, you've got medium flathead. There's a ruler on this back side. On that side is a file. On the other side, you got a pair of cool little pair of scissors. I end up using these way more than I thought I would. I like the way these scissors work. And then opening that up, a little small flathead there with a can opener. It's kind of your standard can opener that I've used actually a couple of times with a bottle opener. You know, the other tool I open up, it has a large flat heads and what they're calling a wire stripper right here and i will put that to this the is their half serrated edge two inch blade and that's really sharp right out of the factory and you can see how well that comes out right there with the locking mechanism i use this most of the time with the handle like that so it gives me more handle to work so let's go ahead and put some of this to the test and see what it's like first thing we're going to test is the wire cutters let's see how well so i've got a coat hanger here not too bad look at that cuts through a coat hanger fairly well cutters i like i've used these cutters a bunch piece of paper let's try out these scissors the scissors there you go how about that those scissors work extremely well too i've used these scissors for cutting cloth any type of little small threads you know you have a thread on something you can hack it off with a piece of scissor i have a phillips head screw driven in there i ran that in with a drill so I know that's in there pretty good. Get your pliers on it, rip it out of there. How about that, guys? That four-way works well, and it's got a good bite on it. Let's go ahead and let's use this little awl. You can see it almost drilled a little hole in it. So let me try the wire strippers out for y'all. Well, they worked. They took it off, there you go. All right, so there it is, Gerber Suspension Next multi-tool i keep this in my car door all the time and when i'm at work i always have it in my pocket this is great for anybody that likes to get out tinker on things or always needs to have a pair of pliers a knife or something handy all right everybody that's it for the gerber suspension next hopefully you don't pinch your finger with this thing because you got to be careful because you will pinch yourself Woohoo! let's get out of here